Wearable technology is going to bring about a, a great change where everyone is more connected with each other. We know about the problems of the world faster than ever before. Communication is just going to jump by leaps and bounds in terms of speed and convenience. Fundamentally, what we are is we're social animals. The most important things to us are interactions with other people, the presence we have with other people. And so when you have a wearable, the wearable is in the middle of that. And it had better support that interaction rather than get in the way of it. We have been adorning our bodies since the start of time, whether it was furs that we used to help us go to northern climes and hunt animals, swords, shields, armor, pocket watches, wrist watches, eyeglasses, all of these things have been there to augment our capabilities and extend our reach and help us through life. What's new is now they're becoming smart and becoming connected. We are increasingly reliant on our digital devices for nearly every aspect of our lives. The only natural future for this is that these digital devices become almost a part of us. And so we try to design devices that can be used while you're talking to people, while you're walking, shopping, doing other things. We came up actually with the idea of the Sixth Sense device, which looks at at whatever is in front of the user, and we decided to use a projector to then project information relevant to whatever is in the focus of the user. I think we have to find ways to really just simplify our interactions with technology so that we can just be people and interact the way people like to interact. I think the potential for wearables is how it's capable of serving your human-to-human -human interactions. The Body Cup is a, is a project I've developed. It's a portable technology, a wearable technology, right? It's something that you can carry with you. And what it does is it allows you to connect with other people socially whenever you clink cups together. Talking to somebody in person is super amazing. It's kind of one of the best things we've invented, right? We've invented speech, so we could do that. So we might as well keep inventing technologies to do that as well. There's really a separate language that humans have for talking to each other. It's not just the words, it's the how you say it. So we've actually built little devices that look at your body language, how you move with accelerometer. They look at your tone of voice. They look at who do you talk to where. It's not crazy, but the idea of you know, building a prosthesis for our social interaction could really lead to a lot better world. When I approach wearable technology, the obvious thing is journalism. I am a reporter, mobile journalist. I cover breaking news around the world through mobile technology and wearable technology. Being able to communicate as fast and efficiently as possible is really key in these breaking news situations. We've got a lot of problems politically. You know, everyone's got a different opinion and wants something else for the world. But until we can get, you know, an accurate set of data as to what is causing the problems, we can't really fix them. So with more integrated wearable technology, if everyone is taking part in, in relaying what they're experiencing, we can take these data sets and create a clear picture that we can understand. The time has come to really focus on human-computer interaction, make sure that it is less people that have to adapt to the technology, but that technology becomes more adaptive to people and our ways of life. This is one of the most exciting times to be alive. Wearables are the next frontier in what's possible with computing, and the challenge here is to bring that into people's lives in a way that is meaningful and makes their lives better. And that's something that we can only do together. <laughs>